Jota, a Hamden final awaits on Saturday in the Scottish Cup and a chance to write your name in the Celtic history books. Very few footballers get to experience games like this. How much are you looking forward to it? Well, definitely very excited about this game. It's something that we have been working hard since day one. We wanted, we wanted to win the championship and to be in these two cup finals. So one is done, another one to go. So um, we go strong again, definitely. Your header against Rangers in the semi-final is the goal that got us to the final. But the thing I think that defines this team is the team unity, the willingness to, to fight for each other as a, as a group. Would you say that the bonds that you've made with each other are the kind of bonds that will last long after your careers are over? Well, I, I want to believe so. I know that um, football is a crazy world and there will be one point that everyone will just go its, its way because that's how life works. And uh, I just hope that I can have like very good friendships and I know that my, my time in here has been lovely and uh, I just want to keep on doing uh, this and to give a lot of happiness to the fans. Jota, it's your second Hamden final, having missed out in last season's League Cup final through injury. What are your memories of the final this season when we beat Rangers 2-1 at Hamden? Well, an, an exciting game again. Uh, we knew that every game against them is always fun to play. And uh, when you get the chance to play with your crowd uh, in this very historical pitch, you just have this extra energy uh, to push. And uh, that's what we did that day. And uh, yeah, it was just an, a memorable day for everyone and for our families, for the fans, and just glad that it happened that way. Yeah, I saw you celebrating on the pitch with your family at the weekend as well. How nice was that for, for, for them to experience that? It's, it's lovely. I think these are the moments that we can give back to our beloved ones. They, they are someone that um, had to do a lot of sacrifices in their lives so I can be in this position right now. So yeah, um, from my point of view, I just need to create these amazing moments so we can go back one day and see like, wow, that, that was amazing and everything was for a reason. So yeah, just grateful for leaving this. You've made a real connection with the supporters since joining Celtic. In fact, former midfielder Peter Grant on Celtic TV's Match Day show on Trophy Day said that you were born to play here. Um, do you feel that your style of play is suited to, to Celtic's traditions? Uh, definitely. This is, this is such a big club with a lot of soul, you know. I see clubs with soul and that's what I want for my life and for my career. And uh, Celtic is no different. We are probably one of the, um, the best clubs in the world in terms of passion, in terms of soul. Um, and our fans speak for itself. And uh, that's what I want to do. I think every time we step in Celtic Park or an away game, we feel this extra push from the fans and uh, that's just an amazing feeling that not a lot of athletes can have that and uh, I just want to get the best from it. There's clearly much more to you than just football. I know you like to travel and learn about different cultures and your surroundings. Have you had the chance to see much of Scotland? Inverness is in the Highlands, for instance. Have you travelled north or do you tend to go in search of the sun? Okay, so these might not get like for some people to be very happy, but I haven't search these kind of areas in in the highlands or inverness or whatever so we have a very tight schedule to be honest and uh, every time we get the chance of like some days off like three or four i just want to go back and see my family in portugal so i think this is legit but uh, definitely i've people have been speaking to me about these amazing and beautiful places in the north of the country um, and uh, I know that one day I will go there. I don't know why, because the priority is always football. So when it has to happen, it will happen.